Texas Tech is counting on a new defensive coordinator and fewer mistakes in 2015. This is Red Raider Football on the Big 12 Digital Network. Right to the end zone. Touchdown, Texas Tech. Caught by Jakeem Grant. As a defense, especially with a prolific offense like ours, we have to get them back the ball. David Gibbs is the eighth different defensive coordinator in the last eight seasons in Lubbock. His philosophy of forcing turnovers in bunches is expected to be a key factor in Texas Tech returning to a bowl game. David Gibbs has, has been phenomenal. Um, we knew that he had the track record, had the credibility coming in, um, brought a, a different level of professionalism, accountability, discipline that we needed on that side of the ball. And so couldn't be more pleased with what I've seen thus far. Um, have, have a young defense still, but it's an excited group. He's, he's related to the players very quickly. Uh, so I'm excited to watch that group continue to grow this fall. Texas Tech's prolific offense still needs to name a starting quarterback as junior Davis Webb and sophomore Patrick Mahomes are battling for the job. Whoever wins the job will need to take care of the football. We've, we've been historically bad the last two years at that position uh, with turnovers. I think the last two years we've had 20 plus just at our position at quarterback. And so whichever guy can protect the football the best and continue to to take shots, take chances, but but protect the ball is going to be our guy. Kingsbury already has his guy at running back. DeAndre Washington became Texas Tech's first 1,000-yard rusher since 1998 and is hoping for even more yards in 2015. We'll continue to find ways to get him the ball. You know, we have four offensive linemen coming back from that group that helped him gain 1,000. And um, in a down year, he was definitely a bright spot on and off the field. Did a great job leading. Um, never gave up, had some dire situations where he continued to run the ball tough when we were out of games, and so couldn't be more impressed with him, his development on and off the field, and I expect another great year from DeAndre. Texas Tech's four and eight season last season was the school's worst since 1983, and the lack of success still stings. Oh, I think it kind of just comes with the record, you know, when you, when you go four and eight, you know, you're not going to get a lot of recognition. But uh, like I said, I feel like the record to take wins and losses take care of that. As a competitor in general, you know, the team has just been using last year as a motivation. And, uh, we don't forget what happened and um, we're, just, we're just working every day to get better. And our coach has been telling us right now that um, nothing's, nothing's more dangerous than a man whose soul's on fire. So, I mean, we've been taking that approach and working every day to get better. Slated to finish eighth in the conference this season, it could be an interesting season for the Red Raiders. David Gibbs' success over the past couple of years at the FBS level should prove pivotal as during his time with Houston, Gibbs' teams led the FBS with 73 turnovers on the defensive side of the football. The coaching blood sits within the Gibbs' family as his father, Alex Gibbs, coached for 30, yes, 30 seasons in the NFL. He also coached at West Virginia, Ohio State, Auburn, and Georgia. In my eyes, this was a huge pickup by Cliff Kingsbury and the rest of his staff. Now it's extremely important for this team to not only jump out to a strong first half of their season, but it's even more important for them to have a big second half of their year. Since 2011, Texas Tech is 21-7 in games played before October 22nd. After that, a completely different story, just 4-18. If the defense clicks right away, it could be a year the Red Raiders and their fans have been looking for. Wendell. The Red Raiders get started on September 5th when they host Sam Houston State. For Mitch Gerber, I'm Wendell Barnhouse for the Big 12 Digital Network.